Good evening and welcome to the 2020 Northeast Region for the Alliance for Community Media's Nor'easter Awards. My name is Keith Thibault, Director of Fall River Community Media in Fall River, Massachusetts, and I'm pleased and honored to serve as your host for tonight's event. You know, it's cliche to say that this has been a year unlike any other. Of course, we would have rather been doing this together in person. However, the pandemic had other ideas and other plans for us. So we'll celebrate the great work across our region with you virtually. So let's get started. At this time, I'd like to welcome in for a few words, the president of the Northeast Region for the Alliance for Community Media, Rob Chapman. Hi everyone, my name is Rob Chapman and as you can see, I'm coming to you from my basement in the middle of a quarantine. I am the president of the Alliance for Community Media Northeast Region Board of Directors and on their behalf, I would like to welcome you to the 2020 Nor'easter Awards. I took over as president at the beginning of 2020 and imagined a very different year, one where we all got together in Chicago for the national conference, as well as in Rhode Island for our own regional conference. But a virus we now call COVID-19 had a different plan for us, and we've all had to adapt to a world of social distancing and mask wearing. Our media centers and our producers have risen to the challenge of creating content in the middle of a pandemic. We have adapted to meet the needs of our communities by providing information and access to our leaders, and we have taught our boards and our citizens how to utilize telecommunications technology to inform, to stay educated, and most importantly, to stay in touch with each other. We can't let this opportunity pass without expressing our heartfelt thanks to Jim Palmer and the other folks in the awards committee for all the work they've done in creating this event. You're about to see the results. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, and while we may not be having a trade show this year, we hope that you'll visit their website and give them some of your business. And of course, as always, we'd like to thank you for the content that you produce. So this year's Nor'easter Awards are going to look a little different. We're not going to have the hors d'oeuvres at the reception or the party, but we're here with you now to celebrate some of the amazing work that's been done this year across our region. And hopefully you have some snacks in front of you and maybe some of your favorite libations like I do. I hope to see you in person sometime in 2021, but until then, let's have a look at some of the work that was done in the past year. Enjoy. I'd like to recognize our Nor'easter Awards Committee who organized the collection and judging of all the entries and helped put this award ceremony together. Please join me in thanking Jim Palmer and Helen Shaddle, co-chairs of the committee, along with Barbara Chisholm, Karen Hayden, Glenn Williams, and Andrea Santo Pietro. The Northeast Region and this award show have long received the generous support from a number of equipment vendors with which many of us are customers. These sponsors understand and value our industry and we thank them very much for their support. Let's hear a few words now from tonight's sponsors. Our ability to, to attach agendas and chapter and add more functionality to our government coverage has made a huge impact in, in our uh, relationship with our local government and uh, elected officials specifically because they know that if they need to go back and, and look at something or if they missed a meeting or if they need more information before they go to vote on something they can go back and watch the meeting and find out more information uh, but it also they realize that the, the work they're doing is being viewed and being valued more in a way than if they were in a, in a meeting room that nobody sees. The live shot fits really well into the peg market because it's it's simple and the ability to hit one button and you're just live with uh, cue audio, return audio, return video, and your segment signal, it's it's invaluable. My name is Jonah and this is my dad, our secretary for the business that sells closed captioning to you, the consumer. Now, let my secretary here, Daniel, tell you why you should be buying from us. Yeah, so we sell closed captioning to peg stations, and you should buy it from us because then the kids and the doggy Merle get to eat fresh food instead of dry. Thanks! All right, so let's get started. Now we've decided to do things a little differently this year. 
for our category awards will continue to present a third, second, and first place winner within the two budget categories. Now those receiving an award have been notified, but unlike past years, they don't know whether they've received a first, second, or third place award. We'll reveal that tonight. For our overall excellence winners, three finalists have been notified in each budget category, but only one will win the Nor'easter. So we'll have a little intrigue as part of tonight's festivities. Now I'll be reading the winners for each category in reverse order, third, second, then first place. A clip of the first place winner will be shown tonight. Then we'll move on to the next category. My job here tonight is to just move things along. So as we start, I want to congratulate all the winners with a disclaimer that I'll do my best tonight to pronounce everyone's name accurately. I apologize in advance for any mistakes. All right, let's go. Our first category of the evening is Arts and Theater, including Comedy and Drama. In the Budget 1 category, the third place winner, Holliston Police Log 123, producer Paul Saulnier, editor Chris McKerney, Holliston Cable Access Incorporated. Our second place winner, Victorian Home Catering Company, Joseph White and Barbara Chisholm, WACA-TV in Ashland. And the Nor'easter goes to the Sparrow Falling episode, Sal Del Greco, Robert James, and Ian Holland, Wallingford Public Access. We are here to debate our choice of action in regards to our claim over Serenia. What we decide today will determine how we are to respond if the War Council should deny us or if the Whisper Den should resist. Speaking in favor of reserving the right to use force, representing the Hall of Scholars, is Mila. Next up is Arts and Theater, including Comedy and Drama in the Budget 2 Division. In third place, Salon by the Sea, Wu So Fai, Arlington Community Media. Second place, My Mind as Company, Issa Dre, Arlington Community Media. And the Nor'easter goes to Dead Air, Matt Sullivan, Dana Schumacher, Cliss Lavinia, LMC Media. Roxanne Ruzio, AKA Rockin' Roxanne, threw herself from Eddie Stone's office window. When she died, he vowed that this station would stay on the air. And not only does WRXN live on, but on Halloween night, so does Roxanne. The bitch is down. Thank the Lord above and the devil below. Look out! Did you like my song? <laughs> Our next category is children and youth in the Budget One division. Our third place winner. Storytime with Chief Cassidy, Michael Cassidy, and Chris McNerney, Holliston Cable Access Incorporated. Our second place winner, The Curious Giraffe Show, O is for Overcoming Obstacles, Dorothy Cresswell and Faith Gregory, Amherst Media, and the Nor'easter goes to Excerpts from Marblehead Youth News 2019, the kids and parents of MYN, Marblehead Community Access and Media. Miles here from Marblehead Youth News, and welcome to the first edition of Cooking with Miles. Winter is officially here, folks, and along with freezing temperatures comes the need for comfort food. Now, the first thing to do when you're cooking anything in the kitchen is to wash your hands, which I've already done. Now, I'm going to show you some of the ingredients I use to cook this delicious meal. What do we have next, Thea? I'm really excited about our next segment, as I love theater. Jessica Eisman is here to discuss the amazing Marblehead Little Theater. Children and youth in the Budget 2 division, our third place winner, QPTV presents Ronald McDonald House of Long Island and Walter Kaner Children's Foundation, Leonie Nieves, Johnson, McIntyre and Collins, Queens Public Television. Second place, July 2019, TV Camp for Kids, Ron Zimmerman, Dracut Access Television, and the Nor'easter goes to The Frindle Movie, Paul Snyder and Martin DeGuys, Northwest Access Television. Hi, 
I read them the book Frindle by Andrew Clements in September and they loved it. And there was a fourth grade class across the hall, Miss Maskell's class read James and the Giant Peach and they got to watch the movie afterwards. And these guys said, well, how come we can't watch a movie? I said, well, they read the book. So they said, well, great, let's watch the Frindle movie. And then when I told them there wasn't one, they weren't too happy. Our next category is Community Impact. The winners in the Budget One division. In third place, The Mend. Anna Nassett, Anthony Italiano, Center for Crime Victim Services, Mad River Valley Television. Second place goes to let the River Run Free, the Ipswich Dam Feasibility Study, Alexandra Dedarian and Caitlin Shaw, ICAM, Ipswich Community Access Media, and the Nor'easter goes to what is Umata YYA, the Center for Health and Learning, Brattleboro Community Television. More than 10 schools participate in this You Matter program yearly. Youth Leadership Council members help design and lead the yearly events. The program begins with a training that uses experiential learning activities to teach about the dimensions of health, coping with stress, changing mindset, building resiliency, and how to help a friend. Our club seems to attract students who may be struggling a bit with their own mental health, and so they want to learn more about depression, they want to talk to other kids. Community Impact in the Budget 2 Division in third place. Celebrating 10 years of Malden Reads, Ron Cox, MATV, Malden's Media Center. Second place, The Last Dream, Steve Marks, Laura Bean, and Edward Slattery, Boston Neighborhood Network. And the Nor'easter goes to Around Queens, Public Color, Daniel J. Leone, Lucia Dragos, Queens Public Television. We're gonna roll it all the way out. Then we're gonna lay the arm. Um... Today we're doing a Fibonacci spectrum on the Long Island Railroad War in front of the school. We have the students from CASA that are participants from the school paired up with our public color students and they're going to give them tutorials and walk them through the process, give them the steps and teach them the skills in order to be successful with completing the project today. Up next is diversity and empowerment in the Budget One Division, our third place winner. Humankind Both, what is our purpose? Zaira Manan, Humankind Both contributors, Wallingford Public Access. Second place goes to Mono Bombs, Steve Dunning, and Jeff Linebeck, GNAT TV. And the Nor'easter goes to Pride Flag Ceremony, June 1st, 2019. James Maroney, Marblehead Community Access and Media. The only person who should raise this flag today is that Sherry Gagney. Go ahead, Sherry. Let it rip. The raising of the pride flag in Marblehead is huge. I've been waiting for this since I've lived here. I've just I've been waiting and praying for the town to really uh, acknowledge the LGBTQ community. And as a new business owner in town, I open creative spirit to help people come into their own, be their authentic self, and to come out, so to speak. This is just icing on the cake. Diversity and empowerment, the budget two division, the winners are third place, Hyannis West Elementary School, I Have a Dream speeches. Paula Hersey, town of Barnstable, Massachusetts. Second place, Around Queens, The Night Before Eid, Daniel J. Leone, Lucia Dragos, Queens Public Television, and the Nor'easter goes to Alzheimer's Association, Team Bill, Courtney Kent, Josiah Bedrosian, Pan Tomlin, and Desiree McMahon, Peabody TV. Just takes and takes and takes. Hi, Mom. Hi, Annie. I'm good. How are you? It started probably earlier than we think, so it was very difficult to understand. He was a very smart man my entire life, and then it just started to decline. I actually peeked in that drawer before we started in his desk. There's a lot of research in there about Alzheimer's and looking up what's going on with me. Up next is documentary in the Budget One division. The winners are third place, HCAM News, Mike O'Han Jr., 
Dylan Carroll Brown, Jenna Cabral, Zach Gorman, Holbrook Community Access and Media. Second place, Kathy Ryan Dance Studio, The Next Generation, Jennifer Jacobs, Katie Jefferson, Andrew Barker, Norfolk Community Television, and the Nor'easter goes to My Journey, A Walk to Raise Awareness of Domestic Violence, Dee Fournier, Patrick Bonsant, and David Blaze, Sacco River Community Media. I wasn't satisfied with any jobs for a long time. I wasn't satisfied where my life was. And so I was talking to a friend of mine and she happened to say, you know, why don't you throw your two passions together and do something and to raise awareness for domestic violence? And I go, what two passions are you talking about? I don't, what do you mean? And she goes, you're hiking. She goes, you go on your phototherapy walks daily and, you know, raise awareness for domestic violence. Documentary Budget 2 Division, the winners are third place, Queen's Stories, the story of Tim Maurer, Daniel J. Leone, and Lucia Dragos, Queen's Public Television. Second place, 9-11, Never Forget, Making the Memorial, Susan McLaughlin, Brianna DeMares, Salem Community Television, and the Nor'easter goes to Troubled Waters, Diane Steimel, Chelmsford Telemedia. Certainly people are just revolted by the idea of thinking that you're taking raw sewage and dumping it into the river. Whenever you have raw sewage going into a waterway where people are recreating and eventually drinking the water, some 600,000 people drinking the water, that to me is a pretty serious public health issue. Municipalities cannot afford these investments alone. They are billions of dollars. We found out in March of 2016 that we've been drinking contaminated water, PFAS, a certain class of chemicals. They've made their way into groundwater, surface water, and drinking water in Merrimack, New Hampshire. Up next is historical documentary. In the Budget One division, the winners are third place, La Petite Fleur, Remembering St. Teresa's Parish, Tom Gradwitz, Fran Gradwitz, and Michelle Hool, Methuen Community Television. Second place, FPFD, Red Alert Number 2, VJ Brooks, Larry King, Bob Wisniewski, Four Village Studio, Floral Park, New York, and the Nor'easter goes to Island of Eagles, The Swan Island Story, Patrick Bonsant and David Blaze, Sacco River Community Media. By 1766, Swan Island had 18 recorded inhabitants and a colonial village began to take shape. For visitors and historians alike, Swan Island is uniquely fascinating because it represents something almost unheard of in New England. A once thriving town that gradually vanished, an East Coast version of an Old West ghost town. Historical documentary in the Budget 2 division, our winners are third place, Converse 2020, Bridget Gately, Fanai Gua, and Joshua Duby, MATV. Second place, Time Stamp, Sarah Cleghorn, Sean Harrington, Hoss Wilson, GNAT TV, and the Nor'easter goes to 100 Years of Peabody District Court, Courtney Kent, Josiah Bedrosian, Pam Tomlin, Desiree McMahon, and Gus Margiota, Peabody TV. I'm really proud of the Peabody District Court, proud of the access to justice that we've had. Here we are right in the middle of Peabody Square, right across from City Hall. It's a great location and a lot of great things have happened here over the years. The District Court is the court that most people within a city use. You know, there's about 10,000 cases, 10,000 people who have to use this court in this general location. Well, that pretty much hits almost every family. Our next category is instructional and training. In the Budget One division, the winners are third place, Making It Artisan Stories, Blue Hills Crafters Demo, Adele Houston, Team Hercules, WPAA TV, Wallingford Public Access. Second place, Ashlyn Astro. Len Rabinowitz, WACA-TV in Ashland, Massachusetts. And the Nor'easter goes to Carolyn's Farm Kitchen, Carolyn Graco, Sandy Seglin, Carol Ann Russo, Methuen Community Television. So our roux has cooked, and you don't want to walk away from this. It's 
cooked for a couple minutes just to get rid of that raw flour taste. So I'm just gonna add the key to avoiding lumpy gravy. Here it goes. Add your liquid in small amounts and whisk it in thoroughly until it's incorporated. If you just add all your liquid, what's gonna happen? Those little paste bunches are just gonna roll around the skillet and you're never gonna get it smooth. So I've whisked that in. Instructional and training in the budget two division, the winners are third place, Nutfield 300, Pottery Steps, Dairy Community Access Media. Second place, Color by Nino, Nudes, Nino Lombardi, Beverly, Massachusetts. And the Nor'easter goes to Animal Rescue League of New Hampshire, Kennel Cleaning, Natalie Watson, Animal Rescue League of New Hampshire, Bedford, New Hampshire, Community Television. After that, um, we work in conjunction with a dog walker. The dog walker comes in, takes out one of the dogs, and the cleaners go in and clean that kennel. Um, we don't clean everything every day because the dogs feel better when they have their own smell around them. Uh, so we only clean what needs to be cleaned. Um, but after a dog does leave a kennel permanently, say it gets adopted, then we go in and sanitize that kennel so it's ready for the next animal. Up next, issues and the political process. In the Budget 1 division, the winners are third place, excerpts from Up for Discussion, Ed Bell, Vicki Stavaker, Marblehead Community Access and Media. Second place, bipartisan Get Out the Vote, Team Hercules, WPAA-TV, Wallingford Public Access. And the Nor'easter goes to The People's View, Weekly Legislative Discussion, Carl Seidel, Access Nashua team, Access Nashua Community Television. So we're going to talk about a number of different things today, but uh, just to fill you in on a few things, uh, the uh, legislature starts right after the first of the year. Mm -hmm. I think it's either uh, January 8th and 9th are the first sessions where they talk about the retained bills and see what they're going to do. Uh, one day is going to be handling two uh, vetoes that we haven't handled so far as they seek to override the governor's veto. Issues and the political process, Budget 2 Division winners are in third place, Presidential Candidate Series, Amy Klobuchar, Dairy Community Access and Media. Second place, Look to Boston with Mayor Walsh, Lois Leonard, David Burt, and Pat Flaherty, Boston City TV. And the Nor'easter goes to how Peabody Government Works, Courtney Kent, Josiah Bedrosian, Pam Tomlin, and Desiree McMahon, Peabody TV. City elections are all about local candidates, your neighbors, your friends, that are running for office to serve you. Everything that you have for quality of life starts here. The people you elect make a lot of important decisions, from the mayor right down to the commissions. In city government, you actually engage with your elected officials. It's unusual for a city of its size that there is so much access to government. Our next category is event coverage, single camera. In the Budget 1 division, the winners are Jake's Team Foundation Kickoff. Jack Emberley, WACA-TV, Ashland, Massachusetts. Second place, Concord Heights Community Mural Project, Mike O'Meara, Matt Arsenault, Josh Hardy, Concord TV. And the Nor'easter goes to Goodnight Special, the New England Patriots send-off rally at Gillette Stadium. Todd Carter, Barbara Chisholm, and John Featherston, WACA-TV, Ashland, Massachusetts. All right, we're here at the Super Bowl rally for good night with the Patriots cheerleaders. Doesn't get any better than this. What are you guys thinking? Uh, this is such a blast. We love having all the fans here to support, and we can't wait to go to Atlanta. So you all guys are going to go? Yes. You're going to Atlanta? Yes. What are your thoughts? Super excited. Super excited. <laughs> so this is three years in a row. Have you all been here the last three years? Yes. A few yes. of us have. Yes. A few of you have. Yes. And then you guys are going to perform today? We are going to perform today. today. Yeah. Event coverage, single camera, the Budget 2 Division winners are in third place, Bedford Fire Department Make-A-Wish, July 30th, 2019, George Cox, Colleen Richardson,
Bedford Fire Department and BCTV, Bedford Community Television. Second place, Belmont Veterans Memorial Dedication, Jeremy Reserve, Lucas Tragos, Belmont Media Center, Belmont, Massachusetts. And the Nor'easter goes to Curious City is Open, Courtney Kent and Josiah Bedrosian, Peabody TV. Having it here in the George Peabody House it was kind of symbolic in a lot of ways because George Peabody cared so much about education, investing in youth, and I think that's what we're doing today. We're, we're taking a step towards investing significantly in the Children's Museum that will inspire, motivate, hopefully educate many, many students and, and, and young boys and girls coming through our doors here. A historical community, which a few of them at first were a little nervous about making some changes here. Up next is event coverage multi-cameras. The B1 division winners are third place, Boston Marathon Coverage 2019 WACA production crew, WACA TV, Ashland, Massachusetts. Second place, AHS Football, Al Vern versus Milford, Michael O'Keefe, James McIntosh, the HCTV Football Crew, Hudson Community Television, Hudson, New Hampshire. And the Nor'easter goes to Harris Hill Ski Jump 2019, Brattleboro Community Television. On the hill! Getting down past that 60 meter mark. Getting some improvement there. 62 and a half meters. Excellent. Good little solid improvement there for Seth. Now we are moving on to. Event coverage, multi cameras. The budget two division winners are third place around Queens, Broadway in the boroughs. Daniel J. Leone. Lucia Dragos, Queens Public Television. Second place, Pizza Stock 3.5, Dairy Community Access Media. And the Nor'easter goes to New Bedford Half Marathon 2019, New Bedford Cable Access, New Bedford, Massachusetts. We're here with Mayor John Mitchell, and uh, look at you all dressed for a balmy day. Yes, uh, yes, thank you for noticing. Uh, maybe I'm optimistic, but I know that it's about 15 degrees warmer than it was at start time last year. I think everybody's uh, having a little bit of spring fever right now. In fact, I just heard we just had a number of people sign up at the last minute. They checked yep. the weather and said, hey, I'm good to go. So <laughs> great, the more the better. I think I've asked you this before, but what does this race mean to the city? Well, it means a lot. You know, it, 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 it obviously brings a lot of folks into the city. And We're going to take a brief break right now and hear again from tonight's sponsors. Live shot fits really well into the peg market because it's it's simple and the ability to hit one button and you're just live with uh, cue audio, return audio, return video, and your segment signal. It's it's invaluable. My name is Jonah, and this is my dad. He is gonna sell you closed captioning. I'm gonna sit here and tell you why. You should buy closed captioning from us. His corny corny joke joke. Hey, Dad. my joke's not that corny. Alright, bye. Our ability to, to attach agendas and chapter and add more functionality to our government coverage has made a huge impact in, in our uh, relationship with our local government and uh, elected officials specifically because they know that if they need to go back and, and look at something or if they missed a meeting or if they need more information before they go to vote on something, they can go back and watch the meeting and find out more information. Uh, but it also, they realize that the, the work they're doing is being viewed and being valued more in a way than if they were in a, in a meeting room that nobody sees. As you know, the Northeast region represents community media centers from our six New England states and the state of New York. We're also fortunate to have very powerful statewide organizations on the ground 
to work with our members and address statewide concerns. We'd like to take a few moments now to get an update from representatives from our state community media organizations. Wow, what a year it's been, 2020. I am sure we are all ready for 2021 at this point. My name is Matt Sullivan, Executive Director of LMC Media, and I'm representing this evening the New York chapter of the Alliance for Community Media. I just want to take the time to thank every one of our sister, brother and sister stations across the state for doing an incredible role during this pandemic. We've seen every media center in New York spring to the occasion and provide vital services and communication needs to local government and residents alike. I wanna take the time to thank our board president of the New York chapter, Anthony Arian, as well as Zebulon Schmidt and Jim Kenny. And I wanna say on behalf of all of us here in the Empire State, keep doing what you do. Our work matters, it's more important than ever. And stay healthy and enjoy tonight's ceremony. Congratulations to all of our winners, and we look forward to seeing you hopefully next year when we hold our annual regional conference. On behalf of New York State, congratulations everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Vermont Access Media in 2020. 25 stations, more than 80 local cable channels. Like all of you throughout the Northeast, we're doing what we can to bring neighbors together, delivering local content, opening the doors to democracy, promoting local elections, and sharing up-to-date COVID resources. We're working with volunteers remotely doing curbside pickup and creating new studio safety setups. We're recording school plays, graduations, and sports, and all in all, we're having fun and getting creative. Many of us are changing channel numbers. We're all working in a pandemic, reinventing television, archiving, and content distribution. We say to the rest of the Northeast region, thank you. Thank you for keeping up the good work of community media. Hi everyone, I'm David Gauthier, the president of Mass Access. Just checking in to say congratulations to the Alliance for Community Media's Northeast Region for another successful Nor'easter Awards. It's been a whirlwind of a ride over the last nine months, to say the least, but I'm happy to say also that community media in Massachusetts continues to thrive. I'm proud of how PEG organizations in Massachusetts have stepped up during this time of need, fostering vital community communication and producing thousands of hours of original content for the enjoyment of our viewers. Mass Access is wrapping up a strong year of legislative and collaborative efforts that we hope will ensure a bright future for our industry here in the Bay State and beyond. Don't forget that all Mass Access memberships come due on January 1st, so please join us again in 2021 to share in the continued success. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Well, we're back. Our next category is news and magazine format. The Budget One Division winners. Third place, Massachusetts Walking Tour. Donald Cronin, Chryso Lawless, and Bruce Guilfoy, Holliston Cable Access Television, Holliston, Massachusetts. Second place, Around the Clock News for Ashland. Yolanda Greaves, Barbara Chisholm, and Paul Bowden, WACA-TV, Ashland, Massachusetts. And the Nor'easter goes to Headliner, the News of Marblehead. John Caswell and Headliner News Team, Marblehead Community Access Media, Marblehead, Massachusetts. Hello, welcome to MHTV's Headliner. I'm John Caswell. Severe thunderstorms hit Marblehead around 3.15 p.m. Wednesday, July 31st, causing many trees and electrical wires to come down, including two trees on Pleasant Street right across from the MHTV studio here in Veterans Middle School. According to a Marblehead Police Department Facebook post, the 911 Dispatch Center fielded 534 calls between 3.15 and 8 p.m., including 125 tree-related calls and 71 power issue calls. News and magazine format, Budget 2 Division winners, third place, Around Town, 11-27-19, Steve Marks, Laura Bean, and Maureen McNamara, Boston Neighborhood Network. Second place, Cape Media News, December 13, 2019, 
Gabrielle Rossin, and Emily Tulloch, Cape Media Center. And the Nor'easter goes to Made in Peabody, Olio, Courtney Kent, Josiah Bedrosian, and Desiree McMahon, Peabody TV. Olio is a modern industrial event space that we are renting out for folks to use for weddings and celebrations, for corporate gatherings, for nonprofit galas, even for things like fitness classes. We hope that people can come in here with whatever idea they have and make it come to life. Next up is Municipal and Government Programming in the Budget 1 Division, the winners are. Third place, welcome to Penacook, Mike O'Meara and Stephanie Breton, Concord TV. Second place, Community Spotlight number 5, Kevin Fitzgerald, Four Village Studio, Floral Park, New York. And the Nor'easter goes to Sweeping Dennis, Jeff Clow, Dennis, Massachusetts, Government Access Television. We try to concentrate on high traffic areas. So if you are in a residential area and you're wondering why we're there so early, it may be just because we're trying to sweep there when there's not a lot of people. Our mission for the street sweeping operation is to maintain safe and clean roadways. Municipal and Government Programming, the Budget 2 Division, we actually have a tie for third place. First up, Learn How to Shellfish, MEA Clamming Class, Olivia Morrow, Stone Dow, and Paula Hersey, Town of Barnstable, Massachusetts. The other third place winner, Stormwater Matters, Patty Stocker, Nick Woodbury, and Steve Edwards from Westford Cat. In second place, The News Project, Capital for a Day, Andrew McKeever, GNAT TV. And the Nor'easter goes to First Response, A Day with the Salem Fire Department, Brianna Demers, Salem Community Television. Up next is Music and Performance. The Budget 1 Division winners are third place, Me and The Coffee House 50th Anniversary, James Maroney, Marblehead Community Access and Media, Bahara Tanatayam, Ratish Shikhar, Mira Nair, and Jeevith Ishwara, Wallingford Public Access. And the Nor'easter goes to Charged Up, Top 10 Countdown with guests, The Holly Dolls. Angel Melendez, Young Spaz, Access Nashua Team, Access Nashua Community Television. I told y'all, I done told y'all, we bring the best of the best. And now we got two of the best right here on Charged Up for interview exclusively, the Honey Dolls. What is going on? What up, Spaz? What is going on, girls? Listen, I'm a fan. Oh, I'm a fan. So hands up, hands down. <laughs> Listen, I seen you guys doing your thing. I'm like, whoa, look at these girls, they work. They work, Did I seen the video work. I'm <laughs> like, oh man. In music and performance, the budget two category, once again, we have a third place tie. First up, Wave Your Flag by A2VT, Fort Miax. A2VT, Ken French, and David Cooper, The Media Factory. Also third place, Tired, Rodrigo Souza, Arlington Community Media. Second place, The Quarry Project, 2019 Development. Hannah Dennison, Lucas Huffman, and Leslie Anderson, The Media Factory. And the Nor'easter goes to Justin Clancy, On My Way, Josiah Bedrosian, Desiree McMahon, and Courtney Kent, Peabody TV. Just the fact that like I'm gonna be playing 
there and mm-hmm. I used to look at that venue when I was selling the t-shirts and like one day I'm gonna play there and yeah it's gonna be sick Our next category is PSA or short program in the budget one division. Third place, Bedford Safety Moment, Choking PSA, Captain Thatcher Plant, Colleen Richardson, and Malik Palakos, BCTV, Bedford, New Hampshire Community Television. Second place, What is Vaping? The Impact on Teenagers PSA, Brene Dubis, George Cox, Bedford, New Hampshire Community Television. And the Nor'easter goes to Wheelchair Accessibility in Downtown Brattleboro, Ruben Shotland, Julie Tamler, Brattleboro Inclusion Center, Brattleboro Community Television. I can get into box stores and supermarkets because they often have automatic doors and usually have Y dials. Although sometimes the automatic door switches are difficult to find, covered up with other things, or not working. I can go in the library because they have an automatic door and a wide door upstairs too. I could get into the town office building as well, but once inside I couldn't get into the offices themselves because there are no switches. PSA short program in the budget 2 division, we actually have a tie for second place. Our first second place winner is Hub on Wheels PSA, Pat Flaherty, David Burt, Boston City TV. Our other second place winner, City of New Bedford Promo 2019, Suzanne Richard, New Bedford Cable Access, and the Nor'easter goes to Stormwater 101 PSA, Chris Letta, Stone Dow, and Paula Hersey, Town of Barnstable, Barnstable, Massachusetts. When raindrops fall from the sky, trees and plants help break their fall. In the woods, rain is gently guided to the ground below where plant roots and microorganisms drink it in. Here, impurities in the rain are filtered out. Rainwater, not absorbed by the plants, continues to seep into the ground, restoring groundwater and filling lakes, ponds, and streams. The Cape's groundwater, the same water we drink, depends on rain and snowmelt for its replenishment. Next up is School and Educational Program. The Budget One Division winners are, in third place, Making It Artisan Stories, Tim and Vance and Homeschooling, Adele Houston, Team Hercules, WPAA-TV, Wallingford Public Access. Second place, Ashland Education Foundation Gala Video, Allison Rose, Barbara Chisholm, and Jennifer Cooney, WACA-TV, Ashland, Massachusetts. And the Nor'easter goes to, HMHS Spotlight Video, Jenna Cabral and Zach Gorman, Holbrook Community Access and Media. What makes Holbrook Middle High School special to me? The teachers here. And they always are like, no, don't give up, you got this. Like, you know, just put a smile on your face. Come on, you're almost there. And I haven't really experienced that in other schools that I've visited. School and Educational Program, Budget 2 Division winners. Third place, Watertown Pop-Up Museum, Dan Hogan, Watertown Cable Access Corporation. Second place, Drunk Busters, Josiah Bedrosian and Desiree McMahon, Peabody TV, and the Nor'easter goes to Students of Sandy Neck, Infinite World Within This World, Chris Letta and Stone Dow, Town of Barnstable, Barnstable, Massachusetts. You 
can see this little tiny point right here. That's its egg tube. Uh, for art, it's a great inspiration. Like I said, it inspired me when I normally don't do much like that. So it's always going to be a source. Nature's always going to be there, or hopefully will always be there. Next up is Science, Health, and Spirituality, our Budget One Division winners. Third place, Healthcare Aware Number 11, George Ingram, Four Village Studio, Floral Park, New York. Second place, Angelic Guidance for Daily Living, Caroline McGee, WACA-TV, Ashland, Massachusetts. And the Nor'easter goes to Child Sex Trafficking Challenge, Georgie and Lucier, Midlife Matters, WPAA-TV, Wallingford Public Access. In Connecticut, we have legislation that very clearly articulates if a child's under the age of 18, he or she cannot be charged as a prostitute. They are a victim of child trafficking. So that was a really important step for us a couple of years ago, because okay. prior to that, we were doing under 16. Okay. So now we're looking at children under the age of 18 which I would think is so important. Between 16 and 18, people can still be so vulnerable and unaware of maybe consequences of Absolutely. decisions they're making. Science, Health, and Spirituality, the Budget 2 Division winners. Third place, Main Street Westford, Shamim Bitwala, Joyce Polino Crane, Patty Stocker, and Steve Edwards, Westford Cat. Second place, The News Project, Coping with Illness, Andrew McKeever, GNAT TV. And the Nor'easter goes to Hyannis Water System, Chris Letta, Stone Dow, and Paula Hersey, Town of Barnstable, Barnstable, Massachusetts. There's two things. One those with those snouts on it, you know where it tapers off. Those are more for sampling. But to take samples to make sure you don't get contaminated water, okay? Those have to do with the <clears throat> analyzers. What happens is the, the chlorine, the pH, which is the, um, uh, the corrosion issue, they get sampled constantly. Our next category is student programming, and we only have one series of awards to present tonight. Our third place winner, You Can Too. MHS MCTV Intern Program 2018-2019, Methuen Community Television. Second place, Give Before You Go, Girl Scout Troop 85172, WACA-TV, Ashland, Massachusetts. And the Nor'easter goes to Gumball Shuffle, The Boy Who Cried Murray, BHS Media, Beverly, Massachusetts. Okay, speed round. Todd, what started the Great Depression? Stock market crash of 1929. Great, Todd. Now, Deb, who took over as president after Herbert Hoover? You shake my nerves and rattle my brain. Too much love to drive a man insane. You broke my will, but a blood of thrill. Good as gracious, great balls of fire. <laughs> Todd? <laughs> Roosevelt. Great, Todd, once again. Dungarees, what's one result of the Great Depression? By Great Depression, do you mean the whole history thing or this class? Our next category is sports programming. In the Budget One division, we do have a third place tie. Our first third place winner is MHS Sports on MHTV. John Caswell and MHTV Sports Team, Marblehead Community Access and Media. Our other third place winner, Ashland High School Football Super Bowl Game, WACA Production Crew, Ashland, Massachusetts. In second place, Western Mass Softball Division II Semifinal 2019, Frontier Regional High School versus Husik Valley at UMass, Kevin Murphy, Alec Echo, and Jeff Terrell, Frontier Community Access Television, and the Nor'easter goes to Frontier Regional School Basketball versus Narragansett, Western Massachusetts Division III Semifinal 2019, Kevin Murphy, Chris Collins, Alec Eckhill, Frontier Community Access Television. High School Basketball on Bear Country 95.3. Today from Curry X Cage at UMass and Amherst, it's the 2019 MIAA Western Mass Boys Division III Basketball Semifinals. There. 
Pass, deep three ball by Edwards from the right side is good, 3-0 Ganson. Takes it to wasted. the front court right. Stops on the wing. Top of the key, Peter Carey. Dumps it down low to Karsten. Karsten going to work, double team. Left side, 18 foot J by Kalen Evans is no good. Karsten the put back, yes. Sports programming budget two division winners are in third place, the Vacation Land Open, Mark Ducey, Sam Geddes, and Dan Snyder, Acton TV, Acton, Massachusetts. Second place, Around Queens, Queens Rugby Club, Daniel J. Leone, Lucia Dragos, Queens Public Television. And the Nor'easter goes to Game of the Week, Boys Division II South Semifinals, Whitman Hansen versus New Mission, Pat Flaherty, Boston City TV. It turns into quick, quick shot offense, which you don't like either. Kelly gets fouled on his way to the rim. That's the sixth team foul on Whitman Hansen, so one more, they'll be in the bonus. Short basket, no good inside that time from Max Borgen. Next up is Profile Talk Show in the Budget One Division, our third place winner. Here we are, Brattleboro's Community Talk Show. Wendy O'Connell, Brattleboro Community Television. In second place, technically speaking, number 70, Stephanie Larkin, Four Village Studio, Floral Park, New York. And the Norista goes to Neighbors to Know, David Scott, Jennifer Poole and David Scott, Bedford TV. So it's, I mean, since we have, you know, <laughs> a forum here of, of how to get the word about, not the word out, but how to get education out, um, can you explain, like, what is a cleft palate? I would say it's a, a birth condition. It's the way you were born. Basically, when you're in the womb, your body closes around the midline. Mm -hmm. And so, um, Basically, my, my palate and lip didn't close. I, I, um, I could put my fist in my mouth when I was a kid. Profile Talk Show, Budget 2 Division, the winners are, third place, North Shore Journal, Doogie Russell, Walt Kosmoski, Bevcam. In second place, Intergenerational Interviews, Barnstable Senior Center, Sarah Beal, Paul Hersey, Chris Letta, Town of Barnstable, Massachusetts, and the Nor'easter goes to Around Queens, Helping Incarcerated Moms, Daniel J. Leone, Lucia Dragos, Queens Public Television. I couldn't imagine what would happen to a child when a mother is taken out of that family uh, for whatever reason, and some of it, you know, the stories were horrifying, you know, ch children would be coming home from school, their mother would not be there, or they would be in the apartment when the police would come and the mother would be extracted from the apartment, and that really tugged at my heart that I said, let me do something that would, you know, help that cause. But then to engage the women in their stories I would be like, my goodness, that could be, you could be my niece. Next up is General Talk Show in the Budget One Division, our third place winner. Behind the Curtain, Ashland Community Theater Origin Story, Joseph White and Barbara Chisholm, WACA-TV, Ashland, Massachusetts. Second place, historical first picture of a black hole, J. Carlos Salcedo, Alex Mejia, and Mario Bojorquez. And the Nor'easter goes to In the Toy Box, Episode 5, Star Wars vs. Star Trek. Charlene Rocha Aruda, New Bedford Cable Access. It's time for the Intergalactic Feud. Introducing the Star Wars toys. Obi-Wan, Lando, Han, Leia, and Luke. Ready for action. And the Star Trek toys. Uhura, Scotty, Dr. McCoy, Spock, and Kirk. General talk show in the Budget 2 division, our third place winner. Schwitzen with Norm, Suzanne Richard, Norm Metzler, New Bedford Cable Access. In second place, Commissioner's Corner 2019, Lois Leonard, 
Naya Mawasi and David Burt, Boston City TV. And the Nor'easter goes to The Steve Katzos Show, Season 9, Episode 10, Steve Katzos, Arlington Community Media. So, Lenny Clark. <laughs> Lenny Clark, this guy, this handsome guy. <laughs> the Steve Katzos Show presents Guest of the Decade. Whoa. To Boston oh. comedy legend, Lenny Clark. Put your oh. hands together for him. Oh. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Love you, Mr. Thanks, President Trump, for coming back. Thank it's great so to much. see you. How about it, everybody? Oh. President Trump, there he is. <laughs> Donald Trump, I'm so glad, you know. Our final category of awards tonight is under About Access and Community Media. In the Budget One division, the winners are third place, Time for a Story Places, Studio W, Team Hercules, WPAA TV, Wallingford Public Access. Second place, What is Peg Television and the Difference It Makes, Yvonne Dunetz, Access Nashua Team, Access Nashua Community Television. And the Nor'easter goes to Every Day is Community Media Day at BCTV, Brattleboro Community Television, Brian Bashaw, Brattleboro Community Television. We know that so many of our constituents get information from BCTV. It's incredible how many people will stop me on the street and say, I saw that interview or I saw that uh, select board meeting. What I love about the public access television is people feel authorized to get on there and say their piece. They have access to a public forum where their words get disseminated. And it's so core to democracy for people to feel empowered to speak and to be heard. You provide that. About access and community media, the Budget 2 division winners, third place, MATV Beyond Television, James Mudge and Ose Schwab, MATV, Malden's Media Center. Second place, NBCN On Demand, Suzanne Richard, New Bedford Cable Access. And the Nor'easter goes to Tales of HC Media, Lindsay Paris, Haverhill Community Media, Haverhill, Massachusetts. The thing I love about HC Media is it is a judge-free zone. Everybody is there to help you learn different techniques, um, everybody comes with open arms. It's very homely, it makes you feel like you're at home. All of you are what make HC Media one of Haverhill's greatest assets. And our doors are always open. So if you've never been in, or you haven't been in in years, come on in and begin your own personal tale of HC Media. The tale only you can tell. Congratulations again to all of you who have been recognized as winners within our video categories. We're going to take another break, and when we come back, we'll present the winners of our Overall Excellence Awards. My name is Jonah. This is my dad, and this is my brother in the back there. This is Mo. He is our dog. And this is why you should buy closed captioning to help this family grow. Our ability to, to attach agendas and chapter and add more functionality to our government coverage has made a huge impact in, in our uh, relationship with our local government and uh, elected officials specifically because they know that if they need to go back and, and look at something or if they missed a meeting or if they need more information before they go to vote on something, they can go back and watch the meeting and find out more information. Uh, but it also, they realize that the, the work they're doing is being viewed and being valued more in a way than if they were in a, in a meeting room that nobody sees. Live Shot fits really well into the peg market because it's it's simple and the ability to hit one button and you're just live with uh, cue audio, return audio, return video, and your segment signal. It's it's invaluable. 
It's time now to present the winners of our Overall Excellence Awards. And to handle this duty, I'm pleased to introduce the President and CEO of the Alliance for Community Media, Mike Wassenaar. I'm pleased to present Overall Excellence Awards for this year's Nor'easters. We have 12 nominees in four categories for overall excellence based upon budget size. That's a lot of excellence. Let's get to the awards. For overall excellence in budgets under $300,000, our nominees are ICAM, Ipswich Community Access Media, Bedford TV, and Medford Community Media. And the Nor'easter goes to Medford Community Media. In the category of overall excellence for $300,000 to $600,000 budgets, the nominees are DCAT, Danvers Community Access Television, WACA TV, Ashland, Massachusetts, and MHTV, Marblehead Community Access and Media. And the Nor'easter goes to Danvers Community Access Television. That's weird. What's weird? Wow, that is really weird. Any more both? Um, so I'd like to also introduce David Rodriguez, who's going to be helping me out tonight. David is the access coordinator here. So David, if you could just do me the honors of just, if you could start to unveil the actual awards for us so we can oh, see what they look what, like. What a great idea. In fact, can you guys help me count down from five? Let's yeah. do that, huh? Five, five four, three, two, one. Onion. Oh. oh. In our next category of overall excellence of $600,000 to $850,000, the nominees are Malden's Media Center, MATV, LMC Media, and Watertown Cable Access. The Nor'easter goes to LMC Media. This is the channel for the public to share their news and ideas. The studio is fully equipped with HD cameras, prompter, lights, and green screen to help community members create productions like... You want to go back? Hello and welcome, Talking Technophobia. Nine out of ten doctors recommend me as Professor Movies. Blacksploit, a forum where we celebrate everything in the black arts. Today, I have the privilege of introducing you all to our new village manager. Out of our studios and in the community, using the Larchmont and Mamaroneck streets and public spaces as backdrops for creativity. And in our last category, budgets of over $850,000 a year, the nominees for overall excellence are Queens Public Television, Boston City TV, and Peabody TV. And the Nor'easter goes to Peabody TV. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Mike. 
there you have it, the winners of the 2020 Nor'easter Awards. We're extremely proud and impressed by the work you all continue to do within your community. Pandemic or not, you all provide a valuable service that is appreciated by us and I'm sure your local community. Keep up the good fight. We hope to see you all in person in 2021. Have a great holiday season and have a good night.